Why does it have to be irradiated biker? Like, poss possibly the toughest zombie in this game. What just happened? I'm nervous. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s of that, Alpha 21. Uh, this is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I'm an old guy gaming. Uh, we are here at the Hexagon Hideaway. This is a Tier 4 infested that we're going to do. Uh, the previous two Tier 4 infesteds that we did were not, in in my experience, uh, really all that difficult. They were much less challenging than I was uh, expecting them to be. So... Who knows? I, I, I'm not even familiar with this POI at all. I've never done it. I've never seen anybody else do it. Uh, so that's going to be a new experience. And it could be, like, really nasty, or we might, you know, get through without any issue. We'll have to see. Uh, incidentally, I do have my, <coughs> excuse me, I do have my room air conditioner running in the back. So hopefully there's not a lot of background noise, but it's just too hot in my office to not run it at this point. So, uh, all right. Any preluding we can do real quick before we get started here? Just gonna, oh, yeah, that's right. I killed this dog. Um, what I actually did was I I got over here last night in real life. Um, and then I just logged out of the game and went to bed. So it's actually the next day in real life for me. But I had killed that dog before I logged out. So we what I did was I took the motorcycle and kind of did like a little cross country and then followed these roads here to eventually get over here. But one thing I've discovered, and this is should come as no surprise, is that this cruiser, which is a street bike, does not do very well <laughs> on uh, on rough terrain. Um, it does really good on the street. It goes really fast. But, yeah, uh, we definitely still need to be getting that dirt bike. And I think we're two or three books away. Let's look at that. Two books, yeah. We're two books away from get, uh, getting Tier 2, which I believe will open up the oil and gas to us and the, what hold on a sec let's, let's go back there again for a second so it doesn't look like we'll get access though to the dirt bike parts themselves until we get to tier three but we'll keep checking the traders in the meanwhile and hopefully we can come across those parts more more quickly okay so let's see do i have any points to spend nope Okay, so we've spent all our points. We have been focusing on intellect. For those of you who may be watching for the first time, we've completely maxed out agility. So every single perk is maxed out in agility because we are a stealth build. And uh, now I'm focusing on intellect, and we got intellect up to an effective 8 with our nerdy glasses. So we're going to get this up to 9 in, real in actuality and then an effective 10 with the glasses uh, and then finish some other things in the intellect tree before we move on to the next thing which will probably be fortitude because so i need to make my character a little little stronger than he is all right let's deal with this guy and uh it's just gonna look around a little bit more here let's see what's in here a little bit of brass we got a Oh, that opens that up. That's probably how we start, I'm guessing. How we start this party. Okay. Um, Let's wrench this really quick for the gasoline. Hopefully I won't have to do this too much longer for the, the purpose of gas. Uh, this bike uses a lot of gasoline. And we'll just put all that stuff in here because we don't want to take it into the POI with us. Okay, let's get this party started. We've got a new vehicle here to loot and wrench once again. Let's just do that right now real quick. What the heck? 
That was weird. How did the nails end up way over there? <laughs> like, didn't quite uh, understand what was happening there. Oh, we're thirsty too. So let's take... And we can actually stand to eat. So let's eat one of our spaghettis. Maybe we'll take two of these. All right. So... Take that. There's a a well over here too. That goes, oh shit! Freaking dog got me again. So yeah, I'm not sure if we're supposed to go down here or come back out or what. But because I've never done this BO, I'd like to follow the intended path of it. Let's see what's in here. A little more gasoline. Guess we could grab this wood. I like that sound of this axe. That little kind of whistling noise it makes when you swing it. Don't see much really. Anything else in here? Let's check the workbench once again. Nice. Okay. So I'm assuming that's how we start. Unless we can also go um, into the house first. The door's unlocked. Ooh, we got a greenie right off the bat. Goodness gracious. And it's a greenie biker. Okay, we're not messing with this guy. Okay, starting off with an irradiated biker is not a good sign. <laughs> this might be a very challenging run through, which is fine. Um, we like the challenge. Is there, yeah, there's a bag up here. Whoop. Can I just reach it from here? There we go. Got ourselves some pears. And looks like that's all we can do inside the house. All right, let's go down. Why don't we... Use these. So we can be truly stealthy. Um, <clears throat> I've said this a million times before. Well, not a million times, but many times before. Um, lights don't affect sleepers. They definitely affect awake zombies in terms of your stealth. But if they're sleepers, uh, the light doesn't affect them. Not to any, I haven't seen any evidence to the contrary of that in Alpha 21. Um, what we could do is test this, I suppose. Let's turn these off. So, <coughs> excuse me, if we just come up to these sleepies, you can't, we can't really use the stealth meter as a good indicator because we're all right underneath this light, but you can see that, you know, I've got my light on and it's, it's not waking them up on off. On, off. So if there is anything in the code to where lights do affect sleepers, it's it's not real prominent. I, I have just not noticed it. Okay, so let's see. We've got a lumberjack. I can't tell if it's a radiator or not. And a green spider. Let's see if we can eliminate this green spider with a single stealth shot. 
That was awesome. Okay. Um, I'm not really going to be able to get a headshot on the lumberjack, so let's do a sneak shot with a blade. Okay, he's feral. Thumped us pretty good there. Not surprising. Yeah, we are defensively not very tough at this point. We're pretty much a glass cannon, so we have to be really, really careful. But I'll work on that once we start working on the fortitude tree. All right, what kind of shenanigans are going to happen here? Let's get you down here. Not that we have any steel to repair this, though. But So this is why they call it the hexagon. And there's the, the loot inside here. Just slowly and quietly move along through here. And we get to the first section. Okay, red dots. So we've got some spawns. <clears throat> but nothing visible at the moment. So there's a couple over there and one in this, probably in this room over here. Yeah, I see feet. Okay, here we go. Okay. We'll probably end up using our pistol quite a bit in here because it's got armor piercing rounds and it's got a silencer and we do know uh, we no longer have the silencer damage penalty which is fantastic um i'll take those for the moment whether we keep them permanently remains to be seen same thing with the paper Okay, that takes care of the bathroom. So one in that stall and one in this stall. Let's see if we can keep from waking that other one up. Oh, he didn't even see us over here. Did you notice that? That's awesome. I guess stealth was uh, not working too well in the first uh, release of Alpha 21. Um, what am I thinking? A beta release? Or experimental. Yeah, that's what I meant. Experimental. Um, but I think it works pretty good now. Oh, you're back here, lady. I thought you were in this stall. Got a bag here. So these are showers, not toilets. So there's not going to be any water in them. Okay. I think our work here is finished. That just looks out to the other area. 
Let's move on to the next section. Doors locked. Section three, we can go left and right. Let's close that door first. Not seeing any red. Oh, no, there's a red dots. Spoke too soon, didn't we? All right. I didn't reveal anybody. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. If any machine doesn't work, let's check the books here. And we've got to be getting close to being able to make the large first aid bandage. It's like we need seven more points. Jeez, that's a lot of red dots. I can't see a single one of them. Well, there's... Okay, here we go. Can't get a headshot, though. Um, see somebody down there. Oh, that's a Zom. I thought that was a corpse. Okay. That takes care of one. Can't quite get to the head. All right, let's try the leg. That worked. Three to go. Oh, headshot. Beautiful. We got a greeny and something else. I think that's a green white. We might not be able to one shot him, but let's find out. I don't give myself enough credit for how powerful this build is. Goodness gracious. Okay, we eliminated all of them. The threat has been eliminated, at least in this room. Give me a Mega Crush. Nope, just water. Yeah, we'll take water. A little food here. Ooh, we got a learning elixir. Very nice. <coughs> Excuse me, that's the first one of those I think we've seen in this um, playthrough. In, in loot. I've seen it, of course, in the vending machine and whatnot. But Okay, I think we've cleared this room. Got a switch right there. Can we one-shot Irradiated Biker? I didn't think so. That guy is one tough mofo. Get some bleeds going on. Ow, oh, jeez. Here they come. Oh man, look at our health. Those guys hit so damn hard. Um, by the way, on Horde Night, we put another point into uh, Physician. So now we have level two. So we get 50% more health over time. The criticals heal 25% faster, a little more XP and stuff like that. Okay. Let's 
Still one red dot left. In this room over here, I'm taking it. going on him now we have a rad remover on the crossbow so that'll prevent him from healing back up okay um <clears throat> yeah we have a green helmet so not really worth a whole lot Check the ammo. Let's temporarily put these on. And open this up. Rifle magazine and some other stuff. We can now make hunting rifle quality four. Alrighty. Let's put these back on. Construction box with wiring magazine and some, some uh, what do you call those blocks? <laughs> Come on, brain work. All right. We'll hit that button in a second. I was hoping we'd get some, some more meds. Take another one of these. Okay, that's all I'm gonna loot. I'm not gonna go crazy with the looting. Oh, right, that button. Opens up the main loot room, okay. <coughs> Before we go in there, Though, why don't we continue finishing the rest of the place out? But, we might as well dispatch any enemies we can hit while we're here. Oh, are we going to have a collapsing floor situation? Look at this. I'm saying probably, so maybe what we'll have to do is when we go in here, we'll have to run and jump on top of the center of all that business. Just looking for any more freebie shots here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody. Okay. Well, let's uh, finish out the side rooms, like I said, and then we'll come back to that. No headshot, so he gets a nut shot. Ooh. That hurts. We got something green and nasty over there. Okay, eliminated him. Why does it have to be a radiated biker? Like, poss possibly the bullshit toughest zombie in this game. What just happened? I'm nervous. Shit. 
check. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I guess we're done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I thought we were in uh, some deep doo doo there for a while. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we survived. <laughs> Crap. Um, let's put these on. That's a bunch of nastiness there, man. Okay. We'll check the shelf. Come on, game. Give me those two final engine books that we need. <coughs> Excuse me. Those are not engine books. Guess we don't need to stealth anymore. We've cleared the place. Okay. Um, that... We're going to take. That's not worth that much, even if we did fix it up. So we're just going to get rid of it. That we can get rid of. We're obviously going to have to come back to get the, the main loot anyway. Okay, so that takes care of this room. Is this just... Oh, this is the way we came down. So we've... We've come full circle. Gotcha. Okay. So does this floor collapse? Yes, it does. Okay, let's just see what we got here. Some honey. That's nice. This is the infested cache. Ooh, nice. Um... <clears throat> That's a 4X scope. We only have a 2X on the lever action, so we'll, we'll swap those out. Uh, do I? I didn't bring an eye candy today. I really need to bring eye candies to these tier 4s moving forward. Still no vehicle magazine, man. Okay, let's check the boxes here. Just a pop and pills. Crack the book. Now make quality four AKs. That's chicken ration. Let's eat it. Anything down here? Cisco. Ah, the well. Okay. All right. Very good. So, guys, I'm going to make room for all this stuff, go back down and get the rest of that stuff. And then <clears throat> it's I'm very un it's very unlikely I'm going to be able to make it back to wrecked before nightfall uh so i will see you guys tomorrow morning and we'll go do the turn in and then figure out our next move yes i forgot the main loot <laughs> i came back down here and realized it let's see what we get lucky looter find more ammunition and loot thank you I'll take that for sure Another full auto mod. Okay. That's pretty good stuff overall. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning.